Everyone, happy December. It's good to be with you again, although we miss being in person with you, especially this time of year. We hope you have a wonderful December and an amazing Christmas and that we can continue to see miracles of Jesus happening before our very eyes. I want to continue to get back into the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus' longest uh, teaching that he did in any one seating. I want to ask you this question. Uh, what are the things that you worry about? In life, I don't think I'm a worrier. Some of us are worriers, worriers, but um, things that I worry about oftentimes are family. Sometimes I worry about the future. I worry about my children. Uh, sometimes I worry about health, although usually only when I'm sick, right? And so it's interesting uh, to step back and think about the things that we do worry about, and when we worry about them, uh, because so often in life. Uh, we worry, things that we worry about are actually things that are out of our control. And we'll see today uh, what Jesus talks about worrying in this passage. I mean, think with me, if tomorrow morning you woke up and you had a, a slight fever, a sore throat, and a cough, uh, what would you worry about? Uh, for me, I would worry that I had COVID. Uh, but not just that I have COVID, but that COVID would begin to spread through my family. And that would be a worry. And so when do we worry? What are the things that we should worry about? What are the things that we spend too much time worrying about that we actually shouldn't? Jesus begins to talk about that today in Matthew chapter 6. So I'm going to read what Jesus said to us during these times. He said, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Isn't life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or stow away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you much more valuable than birds? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not work. They do not toil. But yet I tell you that even Solomon in all of his glorious splendor was dressed like one of these. If that's how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So don't worry, saying, what do we eat? What do we drink? What will we wear? And your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all of these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble on its own. Uh, it's interesting to see that Jesus focuses on some basic things here, eating, drinking, uh, what you wear. Sometimes we worry about what we wear. Just before I shot this video, I bent down and I bumped my head. I don't know if you could tell, I have a little red mark uh, right there uh, on my forehead. And my one of my thoughts was, oh no, it's going to be so visible on, on the video, and maybe it's not visible at all. Now that I pointed it out, that's all you can, you can look at. You can't stop looking at it. Uh, but we worry about um, so many things sometimes. And Jesus here talks about the basics in life, um, what we'll eat and drink, what we'll wear. A lot of times we do worry about things like that, or we worry about other things as well. Uh, but too often we worry about things that are simply out of our control. The Bible actually only tells us to worry about two things in life. And those two things are always within our control. As Jesus talks through this passage, he uses illustrations to help us see that God's going to take care of things. And if He, God loves us so much more than so many other things in this world, then he's definitely going to take care of us. So what we really need to worry about is our relationship with God. That's what Jesus says here when he says, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. You don't need to worry about tomorrow. Today's got enough things for you to worry about. But of the two things that the Bible talks to us about worrying, one is following the kingdom of God, our relationship with God, getting to know God better, our intimacy with him, and if we are truly one of his children or not. The second thing that the Bible teaches us to worry about is how we treat other people. Those two things are always going to be within our control. I have a choice every single day if I'm going to follow God and act like God wants me to or not. I have a choice every single day how I will treat people. And even when I don't treat people well, in that moment I have a chance and I have a choice to say I'm sorry and ask for forgiveness. Those two things are always within my control. And so Jesus says, don't worry about tomorrow. What will happen 
you have enough food to eat, if you'll, you'll be able to put food on the table for your family. If you, I mean, those are all legitimate worries. But what Jesus says is the first thing that we should always worry about is following after him. And the second thing we should always worry about is how we treat other people. And when we worry about those things, when we are concerned about those things, all the other things that we seem to worry about will just not be as big a deal as they used to be. Peter writes this in 1 Peter 5, 7, cast all of your burdens on him because he cares for you. And, and that casting that Peter talks about, it's literally to heave or to throw, to picture a big weight on your shoulder and to take off that, that bag or that weight and throw with all of your might onto God and he will take it. He will capture that. He will hold it and he will carry it for us. Why? Because he cares for us, Peter says, that all of this is rooted in the love of God for people, for humanity. And the way that we can experience peace and freedom in God is by learning to worry about the right things. So I hope even now as we're experiencing the pandemic and at least in California, our numbers are rising. Stop for a second. Ask yourself, what are the things that I'm worrying about in life? And are those things actually in my control or not? And if they're not in your control, there's no need to worry about them. God will take care of the things that we need because he cares for us. But he also reminds us there are a couple of things we should be concerned about. Following after him and the way we treat other people. So I hope this holiday season that could become two of the things that you focus on or that you are worried about if you want to use that terminology of how are we treating others during this time and how are we following after God. And do that for this entire month and see how your month has gone. God bless.